Hi guys, and welcome to my 16 week pregnancy vlog. I know it's been, let's see, I think my last one was at 13 weeks, so, and I am now 16 weeks. So I feel like this pregnancy is going by fast, but I feel like it's going by slow at the same time. I think maybe because I don't ever feel like I'm gonna get over like the, me being so gaggy and yeah, maybe that's why I feel like it's going by slow, but I feel like it's going by fast too. I'm having to do this update outside today because Mason is napping and I don't want to be talking inside and then him wake up. I want him to get a good nap. We've been having to wake up early to take Clayton to school. And so that's really, it's really been killing him. He's really been taking good afternoon naps because he's been really tired from waking up and it's a little breezy out here. So I hope the wind is not gonna be too bad and hopefully you can hear me good. So we'll just go ahead and get started. One of these symptoms that I'm going to mention is I forgot to mention these symptoms in my in that first trimester update that I did and I'm still having some of them. So I'm just going, gonna go ahead and mention those in this update. Okay, so the nausea. Like it's not like full-blown nausea or anything. I haven't been throwing up. I just, I just feel, there'll be days I just, like my stomach just feels blah. Like I just don't feel that good. I have, I'm still taking my medicine, but, sorry, there's people in the alley, they're working on a fence and they probably think, if they can hear me, they probably think I'm nuts. But um, I'm still taking my medicine but instead of taking two pills a night, I'm just down to taking one pill a night and I've been doing great. So probably here, I'm kind of scared to quit totally taking it because of that last time that I didn't have it done one weekend that ended up being really, really sick, you know? So, but I'll probably give myself probably another week for sure on the one pill and then I'll probably quit taking them and then see how I do. I think I'll probably do okay since I'm now 16 weeks. I feel like with Mason, I don't remember with the other two, but I feel like with Mason, it lasted um, probably until 16, 17 weeks. And then I was just feeling totally better, I feel like. I don't know, I can't remember. So yeah, the nausea, well I guess you probably wouldn't even call it nausea, I've already said that, but just feeling blah. I have been super gaggy, especially when I brush my teeth, like every morning, I brush my teeth and then I have to stand over the sink and like spit a ton and tell myself I'm not gonna throw up. Just sit there and just breathe in and out and just talk myself out of it, which I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up. But you know like before you throw up your mouth gets super watery, that's how my mouth gets every single morning when I brush my teeth. It gets like that and so I just have to sit there and just spit <laughs> until that goes away and then just tell myself like I'm not gonna throw up I'm gonna be okay another symptom I forgot to this is one of that I forgot to mention it's been going on for quite a while and usually I'm perfectly normal with just getting water out of the sink and drinking it but here lately for the last two months I need to have ice cold water it needs to be ice cold room temperature water just makes me want to gag like it just does not settle with me well. And that's just not with water. Like, with anything, I need it to be ice cold. But I know like most drinks, like tea and stuff, you usually have ice in them anyways. And water is one of those things that a lot of people can just get out of the sink and drink. I usually can't. I can't now. I don't know. I feel like this might be one of those things that last the entire pregnancy is I need, um, am I leaning? I feel like I might be leaning a little bit. I don't know. I need ice cold water. All the time. <coughs> oh my goodness. Um, my sense of smell this pregnancy. This is another symptom I've been having that I forgot to mention. I feel like it's getting better. I'm not so sensitive to smells, but um, at the beginning, <laughs> at the beginning, like, I remember Cody's deodorant. It was so strong. I hated 
when he put it on, when he put it in. <laughs> I hated when he put it on. I hate the smell of it. I couldn't, just today is my first day that I've been able to wear lotion because I haven't been able to stand the smell of lotion. I haven't worn perfume at all. I don't want to smell perfume. The kids body wash, like, oh, it just turned my stomach. I did not like the way their body wash smelled. I'm now getting okay with the way their body wash smells, but I did not like it. And what else was there? I guess it's just like the number one smell I hate. And I went and got him new deodorant because I, I could not take it anymore. It was just really strong and I just didn't want to be around him when he was wearing it. I hated when we had when he when we had to go somewhere. So of course you know he went and put on Jordan, and then we got in the car and me being like, oh, it just I didn't feel like I wanted to throw up or anything, but it just made my stomach feel so weird and just upset and oh I just did not want to smell it. So but I feel like he's got new deodorant since and the kids haven't got new body wash. But I got him a deodorant that's not near as strong. And I've been a, I wore lotion today for the first time. And I, I've been okay, like I, it hasn't bothered me at all. So maybe here soon, I'll be able to wear perfume again and we'll be okay. So yeah, my sense of smell this pregnancy has been through the roof. I don't, maybe with Allison's pregnancy, I remember maybe with Allison's pregnancy, strong smells made me a bit gaggy, if I can remember right, so yeah. Now, since I am 16 weeks, and this is my fourth baby, I know a lot of people, they feel movement like really early on with you know the more pregnancies they have. I have felt this baby. I have not felt this baby very much, and I don't feel it every day. I don't know, maybe if I have an anterior placenta, and the placenta, you know, so the placenta is in the front, maybe that's why. But I remember with Mason, I didn't have an anterior placenta and it took me forever to fill him. I remember at my 20 week scan, that was the most I've ever felt him move while she was doing that scan. I don't, and I could see him move. And as I can see him move, I could also feel it. And that was the most I'd ever felt him move. So I don't know if it just takes me a while to start feeling him or, sorry, I thought my phone was ringing and then I realized I had my phone on silent and it's the guys in the alley. Somebody's phone is ringing. Um, I have felt the baby move. I haven't felt it move that much and it's just been like, you know, little flutters. You know, like any strong kicks or anything. I do feel like this baby is probably super low because um, the times that I use my Doppler, I find the heartbeat so low. It is still so low when I find the heartbeat. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna carry low or I can't remember if my other babies have been this low, like trying to find their heartbeat. I feel like they might have been up higher, but I'm telling you, like it's still, it's still pretty low. So I don't know. They say if you carry low, it's a boy. So I don't know if that's saying anything or not, but we'll see. Cravings, I haven't had. The only thing that I have been craving, and I have to have it, is every morning I have to eat a bagel with cream cheese and then I drink about half a cup of coffee. And usually when I eat bagels, I eat them with the strawberry cream cheese, and I have not wanted that. I've wanted just the regular cream cheese, just regular cream cheese, and it's so good. And I have had that every morning. I think I'm going on three weeks now, and it is so good, so good. So that's like, probably pretty much my only thing I've been craving or my only thing I feel like I have to have. Um, I've, I'm still having a hard time finding things to eat, finding things that sound good. Like I just don't know, like most of the time I just, I stand in the kitchen forever and I'm like, what do I want to eat? No, that doesn't sound good. No, that doesn't sound good. I don't know what I want to eat. There is one thing, um, well, I guess a couple of things that they sound so good to me and every time I eat them, sorry, my dog is, I think he has a rock and he's throwing it in the yard. He has something. Every time I eat them, like they make my stomach just feel turned upside down and just, I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up or anything, but they just make me feel blah and that would be pickles 
and I want to eat pickles so bad, but they make me feel so crummy after I eat them. And then the other thing would be green olives. I love green olives, and I, I've still been eating them, but it seems like every time I eat them, like my stomach feels like that, so I don't know. They sound so good, but they make me feel so, my stomach, they make my stomach feel so not good. So, I don't know, that's weird. Um, yeah, I would say that's probably about the only thing. I still haven't wanted Mexican food. I have made Mexican food. We made chili rellenos the other night, and have I had anything else Mexican? I guess chili rellenos are being the only thing that I've had that has been Mexican food, and they tasted fine. I made them, they weren't greasy. I still do not want to go to a Mexican restaurant because I fear that it's gonna be greasy and my stomach's gonna hurt like that one time. And I do not want my stomach to ever hurt like that again. So, still haven't wanted to go to Mexican restaurants. Um, yeah, I think that that's about it on the cravings this Saturday, which will be the 10th. We are going to have an election and elect an elective sonogram done and we are going to be finding out the gender with Mason. Mason was our surprise baby. He was our surprise baby and I was so patient with him. Like it did not bother me that we weren't going to find out what he was. I think it bothered everybody else but it did not bother me. Um, this time it's gonna bother me. I need to know what this baby is. So we're gonna go find out on Saturday and I am so excited. I just haven't been thinking about it a whole lot because I feel like if I think about it, if I think about it a ton, it's just gonna make the days go by even slower. So yeah, it will get here when it gets here. And um, my next midwife appointment is on Monday. So I'll be 17 weeks then so it was supposed to be yesterday that was every four weeks but it fell on you know labor day so I didn't have it so we'll go on Monday and we'll see how everything's going and yeah I feel like I feel like I might be when they measure me I feel like maybe I'm gonna be measuring a little bit bigger than know my weeks but I don't know because I feel like my I feel like at 20 weeks your uterus should be at your belly button if I'm correct if I can remember right and it's pretty much already there when I lay down flat in bed I can feel my uterus I can feel where it's hard and where it stops it's so weird like it's so weird for me to lay down in bed and just feel around and feel my uterus and be like oh yep here's uterus and here's where it stops I don't know that is just so because it's so hard it's so hard and then you get to soft I don't know that's just weird to me uh, I do know that the baby is on the lower right side of my stomach because when I lay down like it is harder on that side than it is on my left side it's really hard I can tell that baby is right there so and I always find its heartbeat on my right lower side so um, I feel like all my babies have been on my right side though if I can remember, like they always find their heartbeat on the you know, right side of my belly. But I'm not 100% on that. I can't remember. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else. I, mean, I wrote down my a few things so I wouldn't forget, but I was sitting there trying to remember. And I cannot remember if there's been anything else going on. Oh, I did this weekend. I found out that if I eat rice, I cannot eat a ton of rice. I don't know what's up with rice, but um, when we had the Rianos, I made rice. and ate quite a bit of it because I love Mexican rice, Spanish rice, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, then all of a sudden, I had like this feeling in my throat. It would not go away. It just felt like food was stuck in my throat. It would not go away. And um, 
then yesterday we went to like a Japanese place where they cook in front of you and I had got some sushi. Sushi that I can eat. It had cooked meat in it. Nothing was raw. And um, that feeling came back. You know, sushi's covered with rice on the outside and that exact feeling came back. And so I told Cody, I was like, it's the rice that does it. It's the rice that makes me have that feeling in my throat. I'm just not gonna be able to, if I eat rice, I'm not gonna be able to eat a whole bunch of it. Or I'm gonna have that feeling in my throat and it takes forever for it to go away. So I don't know why it does that to me, but it's weird and I, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It feels like I'm constantly swallowing. I just swallow, swallow, swallow because I want it to go away it doesn't, and it doesn't help and I drink water and it doesn't help. And yeah. So yeah, that happened, I figured that out. So I will be eating a ton of rice when I eat rice. And I think that's about it. There's just not a whole, I do know one thing. My camera stopped recording. Um, my nose has been so stuffy. Every morning I wake up and I've got to blow my nose. And then I usually blow my nose multiple times throughout the day. So yeah, and it's just, ugh. And I feel like in the mornings, you know, it's kind of ran back in the back of my throat and just blah. So yeah, and I remember having that with the other three pregnancies, is having a very stuffy nose, so I'm having that. And yeah, I think that's probably, probably about it. If I'm able to, I will be filming the sonogram that I'm having on Saturday, if they let me film in there. If they don't let me film in there, then I will be getting on here and letting y'all know what the gender is. I don't know what kind of video it'll be. I am not like a creative person. Like I see all these cute gender reveals on YouTube and I'm like, oh, that's so cute. But honestly, I'm not creative and I just kind of don't have time. Like with the way Cody works, he, he works crazy hours and we just kind of don't have time, you know, to like go out to a park and pop a balloon and it just that's just our life like we have crazy life we just don't have time so we'll see we'll see what kind of video it is and yeah so I guess I will go ahead and show you my belly okay this is not a maternity shirt so it's kind of it's not gonna last very much longer the bigger I get my stomach will poke through the bottom but here we are at 16 weeks I'm actually 16 weeks in, two days to be exact. I'm be on the lookout for the gender reveal, and then I will probably do my next update after my midwife appointment and to let you know how my midwife appointment went. We will see y'all in our next video. Bye.